hello hope you enjoy the video hello there welcome to bush channel just out here in the jungle this morning on a short hike i um, just wanted to show you the absolute bare minimum equipment i'm, I'm bringing on this hike today uh, this is just a short uh, three or four hour trail run or hike through the jungle uh, just carrying the six litre bum bag you may have seen in other videos the brand name's low alpine uh, a couple of other items i've got attached to my belt and in my pockets just a um, a whistle so a fox 40 referees whistle on a small uh, gear carabiner that's always just clipped onto uh, a small piece of rope that I have around my waist. See it there. Also, another extremely important item, uh, virtually 100% uh, reliable, never fails on you. That's just a simple Sunto compass. So, a magnetic compass. Here in Vietnam, um, we're very close to the equator, so this is totally accurate. Uh, you don't have to worry about mag magnetic declination, it's pretty much spot on. We've covered magnetic declination in another video. Um, so, I've got me sunglasses, so I'll be wearing these later on today once I exit the jungle. Uh, here we're in the shade, so I don't really need the sunglasses. And also the sunglass pouch. So, onto the bum bag. Um, just open it up. So, in the front of the bum bag, um, this is my insect repellent. So recently I've decided that roll-on insect repellent is easier to apply. For example, if I want to apply it to my neck, I just roll it straight on. But other cream style um, insect repellents, you have to dip your finger in it and then start rubbing it in with your hands. So if you don't want the insect repellent on your hands, that's the good thing about these roll-ons. You just apply it directly. Very, very useful item here in, in the jungle. There's insects everywhere, leeches all over the ground. <laughs> Haven't seen any leeches this morning though in this area. Just put that aside. Also in the front of the bum bag, a, a trusty four meter length of gear rope. Um, always carry a piece of this. In, in a lot of our videos, you've seen us making clotheslines out of uh, pieces of gear rope. I always carry a four meter piece. Seems to be a very um, versatile length. It only weighs 20 grams. So once you go longer than that, you sort of start to just bulk up the weight on the, on the pack. If you need more rope, I just carry extra uh, lengths of four meters and I can join them together. Another item I'll be using later today, it's really not much use right now here under the canopy of the jungle. But, um, this is sunscreen. So once I'm out of the jungle, I'll, I'll put the sunscreen on to protect my skin. And regarding skin protection, nowadays when I do hike in the jungle, I like to wear long sleeve button up shirts just show you why that is um, you can always pull your sleeves down if you're in an area where there's lots of mosquitoes do the buttons up on your on your um, your wrists or leave them open just for a bit of airflow also I can do the top button all the way up but I really would just want to cover my chest completely so being a button up shirt I can undo the buttons if I'm getting too sweaty or button them back up again uh, if the insects are starting to annoy me too much so that covers the front entrance pocket on the bum bag. Uh, I do have another little gear carabiner clip just on the side there. Uh, that's just for hooking on other pieces of gear um, that I might carry that I might want to just keep on the outside. Um, <clears throat> my first aid kit. Um, so in a separate video we've gone into sort of detail as to what we carry in first aid kits. This is a little um, Cute little bag made by XPED. Um, so I've got a few items in there. Um, uh, a bandage, uh, some Panadine uh, painkiller, another useful item when you're hiking, just in case you get a headache, because you can get dehydrated when you're hiking. Um, so there's a few um, band-aids there as well. Also actually a ladies sanitary napkin so we always just have one of them in the bumba in the uh, first aid kit um, 
So a few of the other items in there. Nowadays I also carry a compression bandage because of my interest in uh, handling snakes. If, occasionally if I see a snake I like to, to watch it and follow it, just, just a uh, safety item. Good to have a compression bandage you know, to stop sudden blood, uh, blood flow if you do cut yourself. Uh, also carrying a very small vial of betadine in the first aid kit. Uh, there's also a needle and thread in there. So we'll just wrap that up for now. Um, if you want to see more detail as to what's in our first aid kit, uh, check out that separate video. Um, also carrying a 1.5 litre bottle of water. So it's about 60% full right now, but that's because I've drunk uh, quite a bit of this water already this morning. Um, a great multi-purpose item is isoprol alcohol. So the, the main purpose of isoprol alcohol is for sterilizing your hands. So you just put a couple of drops on your hands and rub your hands together and that kills bacteria. Uh, it's highly flammable, so if you do need to, uh, if you need some accelerant to start an emergency campfire to keep yourself warm, great fire starting fuel right there. Uh, highly flammable. And regarding um, ignition in case of emergency, I am carrying a trusty Bic lighter. So just your minimal and uh, Bic lighter. These things only weigh six grams. Um, so it's roughly the same weight as a piece of photocopier paper, that's A4 paper, and it works. You can see that flame. It, it lit the first time, only one finger. So I've gone into detail about Bic lighters in the past and how I personally feel they're, they're much, uh, much more useful than any traditional fire lighting method. That's because you can light it one-handed. Traditional fire lighting uh, methods usually require two hands. So there's really nothing more reliable than a simple Bic lighter. And I, I've never had an incident where I couldn't get a fire going, I couldn't spark it. So e even hiking in um, heavy rain, all you'd have to do is just transfer that into one of the dry bags, which I'll just show you in a moment. Another thing I'm carrying, the waterproof little dry bag. That's what I keep my phone in while I'm hiking, so you could always keep your cigarette lighter in there. And right now I'm filming on my iPhone, so you can't see the phone. But once I stop filming, I'll, I'll take the phone off the uh, makeshift tripod and just stick it back into that waterproof bag. So that covers everything that's inside the bum bag. So this is extremely minimal. If I was on a longer hike in an area that I was unfamiliar with, I'd also carry uh, a few other things like Gore-Tex jacket, uh, some food. But right now, this is just a short hike away from the place where we're staying at. Um, another very, very useful item which I always like to have with me when I'm traveling in, in, um, in Southeast Asia or literally like um, day and night, I always carry one bandana. Lots of uses for this. If you're in, in an area, um, you can use this to cover your face. Another uh, trick I wanted to mention um, in regards to sun protection, um, there's really no need for a hat with one of these things. All you do is take your sunglasses off, grab that standard size bandana. I can put it over my head. And if I'm in an area where it's windy, I just put the sunglasses on as well. I mean, fashion wise, I look like a <laughs> complete doofus right now, but I'm completely protected from the sun. Even the back of my neck, the back of my neck is covered. So another use for, um, bandana. So many, many other uses of a, of a small piece of cotton like this. I can even use it to filter water um, as, as first stage uh, water filtering. So I just keep that usually on one of the belt loops of the trousers. So I am wearing cargo shorts right now. A lot of this gear I can actually just transfer into the pockets. Uh, cargo pants are great because a standard pair of cargo pants has six pockets. So Two on the leg, two uh, regular pocket pockets right here at the front, and another two button-up pockets on the back. Um, so that just about covers it. Uh, in regards to what I'm wearing, I'm wearing cotton from head to toe. That's my shirt, trousers, socks, everything. Um, I, I know that a lot of people say, "Oh, you know, cotton 
Um, cotton's really bad for hypothermia, but that's not a problem here. Right now we're in the dry season. It is extremely hot here. It's only 7.30 a.m. The temperature is already probably 25 degrees. By lunchtime, it'll be 40 degrees here. It is just melting hot. There's no rain. It's just stinking hot all day. Um, the reason I've come out this morning is just to beat the heat, get a bit of hiking done on this trail. Thanks for watching Bush Channel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section. Happy camping! Forgot to mention the Swiss Army pocket knife. Trusty little Swiss champ, 35 piece tool set. Probably the most important item. <laughs> this goes in the front pocket there with a the gear carabiner. So it can't possibly fall out.